Hey guys, Brian here from Liquid Concepts. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about stretching and whenever you have parts that are going to stretch no matter what. So um, today we're gonna to be doing uh, a couple of trim pieces on a, uh, on a car. And of course they want all of this in carbon fiber. And so of course you're definitely going to have stretch in this area right here no matter if you go this way if you go this way, this way, this way, it doesn't really matter, you're still going to have stretch no matter what. So uh, we are going to try to prevent it as least amount as possible. And so what we're going to do is we're going to tape up these holes right here to prevent anything from like coming in, distorting the pattern or anything like that. And then the other thing is, is that whenever we dip this, we're actually going to go in like this and then as we're coming out or coming further down into the water, we're gonna start like that, come in, and then whenever we finish, we're actually going to finish the dip just like this right here. And so the reason why is because if we used to take this and just go all the way down like that, we would trap air in this area right here. And so of course we don't want that. Um, and it would be easy enough to trap the air in there, throw a little bit of black in here, black it out. Um, customer would probably be happy with it, but we wanna to try to give them the best amount uh, the best looking carbon fiber with, of course, the least amount of stretch and as much carbon fiber on the part as possible. And so in this case, we're actually going to roll it as we're going in with it. So a little bit more advanced technique, but uh, something that you can definitely do as long as you practice it and um, kind of get the feel of going into the water with it and things like that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to tape all this up and then tape up this hole right here and then we're going to get started on dipping everything, lay out the film and get ready to uh, go ahead and dip it. So stay tuned. Okay, so now that we've got everything all taped up, now we're gonna go ahead, lay a few pieces of tape on the film, just because it's rolling up and it's a little bit easier to handle. And then once we go ahead and get that down, then we will lay out how much film that we need to dip the part and then throw it in the water and go ahead and get started. So again, on something like this, you don't have to tape it. It's more personal preference than anything. Uh, for me, it makes it a little bit easier to go into the water with, so of course that's what we're going to be doing. Um, so for something like this, I'm just going to make sure that I got plenty of film, and so I'm actually going to go like this right here. And so now that I know that I'm going to need about this much, and then of course I'm going to cut it about right in there. So I've got plenty of extra to dip the part in. And so of course we'll take this cut that down there, cut this across, and then we'll move that out for another dip. So here is our film right here. Now, because we've already dipped this, we already know that it's going to go like this. Uh, so as far as the tape goes, you don't actually have to always have your tape side up. You can have your tape side down on the water or up, doesn't matter. It's just personal preference more than anything. So. Uh, we got our dividers all ready to go, so we will go ahead and get this on the water and get started. Alright, so again, you just want to lay it down corner to corner. Uh, nothing fancy about it, just mainly you want to make sure that you don't get any air pockets or anything like that trapped air underneath the film. And so, once we've got that, then we'll pull our dividers in as tight as we can. And the other thing that we always want to make sure of is that, especially on the carbon fiber, is that it's always going in the right direction. So it's always going uh, one way or another, and it's mainly going to be 45 from the longest side. So um, in this case, we've already got everything marked on here so we know which way to go. And um, so we got about 30 seconds left. I'm going to go ahead, grab some uh, gloves, and then we're going to get to spraying this. So again, remember whenever we're going down, that's 60 seconds on the water, we're actually going to be coming in like that and then rolling it just like this as we're going down. So let's go ahead, get our activator, spray it on. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to start like this right here 
and so again we want to go like this but because we are going to go in at this angle we're going to start about right in here and then go inward with it and then as that is coming inward we're going to roll it out just like this so then that way we don't trap any air and so again just so that you can kind of see we came in with it like this and then as we finished we rolled it out just like that so then that way no air was trapped inside this part because if we was to go all the way down just like this then you can see those air pockets that we just trapped so of course we definitely don't want that and so now you can see we've got the least amount of stretch as possible on the part now again we're always going to have stretch in that area there's no matter what it's going to have that but that's going to be the least amount of stretch and we still have a good 45 degree or angled pattern going down like that so then that way it's still at that angle to where it looks just like real carbon fiber so um, we're going to go ahead we're going to get this rinsed and then dry it off clear coat it and of course pull off all the tape i think the customer is really going to love it and the good thing is, is that we don't have to do any blacking out all inside here um, yes it is a little bit more stretched but it does go with the part itself and of course whenever the customer sent us these parts we already told them that from the beginning that there would be stretch in these areas so they're fine with it and so again it's going to look really good once we get that high gloss clear coat on it so we'll put it in the rinse station and go ahead and start dipping the other ones okay so the next piece that we're going to do again going to trap air going to have stretch but we're going to try to prevent it as much as possible so uh, there's a couple of different areas that you've got stretch and pockets in so of course in a side in a pocket like this right here i'm not even going to try to go in and prevent the the area from stretching out in here because inevitably this is way too deep for the film that's only going to be this much to stretch that far down and back up so inevitably it's not going to look good at all so of course we're just going to come back in probably black in this area or whatever the customer wants and then we're going to be good to go but we've got this big area right here and so what we're going to do is, is as we are dipping it down into the water we're actually going to start back here instead of right here and so if we start right here at this angle like this and we go downward with it then it allows all the film to wrap inside this corner right here and then all of the air to escape out now if we trap a small spot right in here of air I'm not too worried about it the biggest thing is, is that we don't want to go down like this and then or down like this and then as we're going down we let it go because if we let it go the spot that is trapped air right here it will of course it let the air out and then we'll have a bubble and possibly uh, mess up our film. Let's go ahead, get this on the water and then we'll get started with this. So, and again, like on this piece, I'm just putting the one piece of tape on it just because it was already there. So it's not a big deal. We'll go ahead and move these dividers out. Make sure that we get enough room in here and then we can always move them down in to closer. So, all right. So we'll start our timer, and again, 60 seconds on the water at 80 to 90 degrees is pretty much where you want to be at. And so I've got a small air pocket right in the middle here. You can blow it out like that, or of course, if there's a lot of them, or you don't feel like blowing it out, uh, you can always grab your activator gun, use the air only, make sure it's not spraying the activator, uh, air only and blow it out like that and of course that will also help get out all of your air bubbles so uh, we got about 30 seconds left I'm going to grab some gloves on and then get started all right so 60 seconds on the water here um, so for this one right here we're just going to do one nice pass right across it um, it's big enough for just one pass if you want to do two you can just depending on the way that your paint gun is set up or your activator gun All right, so again, we want that glassed out state just like that. And so we're gonna hold this just like this right here. And we're going to go a little bit towards this one side over here. And we're gonna keep the same angle going all the way down into the water with it. Just 
just like that. And so now, whenever I go to flip this over, you'll see I'll probably trap air. And of course, that right there, that's not what you want whenever you're coming down like that. And let's say that you did this right here and you turned it, then if you did that, you would have had a bunch of air pockets that would have blown out your film. And then of course it would have messed up the dip. But because we kept it at that same angle going all the way down, then of course we was able to prevent that air from doing that. And we have a good dip all the way around. So again, just like I was saying, we've got a little bit of stretch right in here. Uh, we actually did get a pretty good amount of the carbon i don't know if you can see that or not down inside there um, so there won't be as much blacking out or um, coloring down inside that as what i thought there would be but again there is going to be just because inevitably going in with just this much film and that far to go of course it's just not feasible with this technology so all in all though everything else looks really good we've got very nice straight lines all the way through here so i definitely think the customer is really going to love it so we're going to go ahead pop it in the rinse station and then go ahead and get started with the other part so stay tuned all right so we got everything clear coated it came out great customers definitely going to love it so again i hope you guys have enjoyed this video i know we always do um, if you have any questions or comments definitely leave them below we'd love to hear from you or even anything that you'd like to see on upcoming videos or anything like that and also hopefully this video has really helped you out on knowing little things like as far as like recessed pockets like this uh things that have little air pockets things like that uh or anything in between so uh i'm brian from liquid concepts and we're making hydrographics great again see you guys next time